the cheers, they're shouting down their ears here, cheering them on. The French flags are out and flying at last. Roland Fignon, their hero, is looking for a stage win. He's got the slipstream of Fuerte. He knows the finish, don't forget. He won here the only other time it came up La Plagne in 1984. On that occasion, it was a great occasion because he went on to win the Tour de France. And look at the gear, Paul. He's just locked in there. His legs have almost come to a standstill. He's well, about to launch an attack that Fuerte may find hard to take. Fuerte zigzagging. He's forcing Pignon to try and make an attack from one side only. This is almost a track stand finish here. Fuerte goes to the barriers, making Pignon come on his left. Then he moves him across when he pins him on the outside. Then back again. And now he goes. And uh, Fuerte is going to have to take the wheel of Pignon. Pignon has chosen the gear he wants for the climb. He's gone very, very early. He's going to make it a long one. Fuerte, good to see. There's still some fight in the Spaniard here. He's come round the corner. And Paul Sherwin here is cheering for Lolland Fignon. He loves this cyclist because he's such an aggressive rider. Fignon is coming on the right hand. Yes, you know, look how annoyed Fuerte is. As you can hear the cheers, Fignon has fought daily for the victory. He's got it now. But as the clock ticks on, Lolland Fignon comes over the line to that noise. We're watching Fabrio Parra here now. And Parra will take second place. Fuerte, oh, sorry, third place. Fuerte was over there. Terribly annoyed. He totally got that sprint wrong. Lola Fignon is the winner. Parra will now come across in third place. And then the real drama of this Tour de France will begin as we watch Pedro Delgado come over for fourth place. There's Parra comes over in third place. 38 seconds the gap on the corner. Here is the start of the drama of today's stage of the Tour de France. Again, Pedro Delgado has slipped Stephen Roach on the climb. But remember, at one point he had a minute and a half. And just who is that rider coming up behind? Because that looks like Roach. That looks like Stephen Roach. It's Stephen Roach who's come over the line. He almost caught Pedro Delgado. I don't believe it. What a finish by Stephen Roach. We never knew he was that close. Stephen Roach has risen to the occasion so, so well. He almost caught Pedro Delgado on the line. Surely Paul Sherwin, uh, Stephen Roach is now going to win this Tour de France. Well, what an incredible finish by Stephen there. Who could have imagined that coming up uh, coming up those last few kilometres, he must have pulled everything out. He, he let Delgado go at the bottom. Delgado did the same thing yesterday. He attacked and, uh, and cracked towards the top of the climb and Stephen just paced himself and pulled him back incredibly over the last few kilometres of this climb. Fantastic ride there. Well, I've never ever in my life seen a reaction to a climb like that and Roach has found strength he never knew he had. And you can't see the scenes at the moment, but I can describe them to you because they're out of sight of our camera. Roach is surrounded by photographers he is almost in a state of collapse and they're fighting now to get some air to Stephen Roach. He has produced strength, unbelievable strength. Roach is being held up by the doctor. The cameras are going down to him. You may see some pictures shortly, but Roach is being held up by the doctor. His mechanic has now got him. He is leaning back. He is trying to gulp as much of the fresh air of La Banya. He's being physically lifted to one side. He is only a matter of three feet from me. I am now looking down on Stephen Roach, who is on the floor, and he is sitting on the floor. The doctor is with him, and his mechanic is there as well. And Roach is now talking to the doctor. The doctor is massaging his chest. There's no serious problem here, I must emphasize. Roach is simply exhausted by the climb. His mechanic has given him a glass of water, and the doctor is not looking at all concerned. He's allowing the natural recovery of an athlete who has produced the limit of his ability up this climb. And now the police are in the scrum here as they're forcing back cameras and photographers who are trying to see Stephen Roach. You might be able to hear them shouting here, but Stephen Roach is still sitting calmly on the floor. The doctor just looking him in the eyes, talking to him, making sure he's completely conscious. Roach, I must say, looks a little bit white, but he's nodding he's okay. He's nodding, there's no problem at all, as the mechanic holds a bottle of what looks more like a salt fluid here rather than water. But Stephen Roach has just produced an effort like I have never in my life seen. And there is the stage result today, win for Lauren Fignon. 
But Stephen Roach, look at that. Five seconds he was behind Pedro Delgado on the line. What an incredible, incredible performance. Well, it's been an incredible day in the Tour de France and Pedro Delgado keeps his yellow jersey uh, but only slightly increases his overall lead. What another amazing day this has been in the Tour de France. And there is Stephen Roach receiving oxygen on the floor. This has been some 15 minutes now since Roach finished but it does appear that at last he is beginning to come round there have been the most dramatic scenes I think I've ever seen in the Tour de France here because Stephen Roach has been lying on the floor for a quarter of an hour with literally hundreds of photographers trying to crowd in on him and the police have now at last managed to get a control of the situation.